I reported in this school in September 1998 as a head of department languages. Uh, 2004, I was appointed deputy principal, deputy head teacher, and in 2009, I became the principal to date. I want to start by appreciating the Catholic Church, specifically the Komboni missionaries who actually put up this school in 1988. They put up um, a facility for a one-streamed school. And I'm happy to report the school has grown to five stream on paper. Facility-wise, I think we are a three-streamed school because we do not have enough classrooms. We do not have enough, uh, we do not have a library. The laboratories are not well equipped and above all we do not have a dining hall Yeah, because what was constructed is now too small. It can only maybe just get, is it a third of the students? Yes, so the school has grown but facility wise it has not grown. Majority of us students come from different backgrounds but specifically we come from poor backgrounds because the school itself is located in Kariobangi and the students here come from Kuruma, Korogoto, Kariobangi. These children come from low income learning, uh, earning uh, places. The parents are not able even to pay the school fees. I have seen with my own eyes teachers that are employed in this school go back to their pockets in their own salary and pay school fees to the children in this particular school. The students are living in very difficult surroundings where at home they may not even have time to read because of the nature of they are living areas, uh, it's basically slum area, and uh, the only time they read is when they are in school. The best place I can study is at school. Reasons being that, yeah, at school we've got the, the environment is very peaceful, and compared to home, the environment at home is very noisy. And another problem is the house is kind of congested. Go no room to study. Accessing the school is a challenge because of insecurity. Two, the social status of the students we admit. We have to do a lot of mentoring. They have very low self-esteem. Three, finances. We have up, up and downs where we had problems and uh, because of the catchment area, uh, we had problems with the facilities in the school and we tried to improve them, but uh, still the, our catchment area of the parents are, are from poor background. So we have been unable to complete the, the school. This school has a, a, a capacity or a population of over 800 children. Half of those are girls and they sometimes come back, come to school in the morning without bathing. The school has even gone further to put up a, a bathroom for them, that they can come even early, take shower, get into the class. I would also ask for donations in terms of things like sanitary pads for the girls. I would ask for donation for soap, so that they can take a shower because we have water in school. Yes. Uniform, because I want them to be very neat. Yes. The walking distance from home to school, because I can say that my family is a little bit challenged financially. My dad is not that much stable to support me in terms of transport from home to school. So in terms of me coming to school, I walk, but you find when I reach at school in the morning, I have to take like five or ten minutes to rest. Academically, we beat even those 
that are private and boarding schools. This school takes, if not less than 70 to 90 children to the universities every year. Uh, what works for me is to make sure that uh, we impact knowledge into the children. If we get those particular facilities, uh, then I'm telling you, we will go far. If we can get people to, to donate to, to, to our course, we'll be very happy.